this class. Um, so now, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and we have an exponential, right? So first thing, though, before we could do that, you know, do you have a power and a base, or do you have a, a base and its exponent equal to a base and the exponent? We first need to isolate my um, power, my base and my, my exponent, right? I need to isolate it. So the first thing I'll do is I'll divide by 2, divide by 2. So I have 5 to the x equals 16. Now, what theory tells us is if I want to keep, if I can cancel these out, if I can raise, raise 16 to the fifth power, or base, or 5, raised to what power equals 16? Well, does anybody know of an even integer that's going to help us out with that? No, right? So we can't do it that way. But obviously, I showed you that first problem first because that's the simplest way to try to find it, right? If it works, use it. But you don't have to. We can always go back to the default. So ladies and gentlemen, this is an exponential form. That last example that I just showed you, I said you can also always solve by converting to logarithmic form, right? If you can't solve it in exponential, rewrite it in logarithmic. So remember what this says is log base 5 of 16 equals x, right? So now we just need to know how to do log base 16 of, or log base 5 of 16. And if also we talked about, was it last class period? Oh, it was two class periods ago. We talked about when you have a log that's a different base of 5, you either need to manually enter it into your calculator, or you can use the change of base. Change of base. All right. So. Um, if, you're cal if you're using a calculator that uses base 10, which all your calculators are going to default to, um, you guys can just do change of base there. So I'll just do log base, six, uh, base uh, 16 divided by log of 5. And we'll just round this to the um, hundredth. So I get 1.72. Because it doesn't say the base, so it's automatically base 10. Cool. Anybody have questions? Everybody got it? Greg? Okay.